What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another Gun Guide. This is a series where I go into great detail with all of the stats of every one of the weapons in Black Ops 4 multiplayer. We finished off every assault rifle that launched with the game, so it's time to move into the tactical rifles, and today we're going to be covering the Augur DMR. First up, as always, let's have a look at the damage profile. We get a great damage profile on the Augur at 62-55-47, meaning it's always going to be a 3-4 to four shot kill in core game modes, and always a 1 shot kill in hardcore game modes unless you're shooting through cover. Our rate of fire, keep in mind this is hand tested and this is a semi-auto, so it's the best that I could possibly calculate. My closest approximation for rate of fire is 328 rounds per minute, which means our statistical minimum time to kill is 366 milliseconds within the 3 shot kill range and 549 milliseconds in the 4 shot kill range. This time to kill is just okay, it's not great by any means, it is competitive, it is within that range where you can still compete with many of the other guns assuming they're not hitting headshots with high caliber. But if we look at the time to kill potential, keeping in mind this is without the operator mod, I will be covering the operator mod later in the video, but our time to kill potential when we're using the high caliber attachment and hitting those high caliber zones, it gets reduced very significantly and now we have an extremely fast time to kill at 183 milliseconds. And this is where this gun really shines. As for the auger's effect against an armored user, it's going to take you one extra shot to kill from 0 to 45 meters, never more than one extra shot to kill. And beyond 45 meters, it's actually the exact same number of shots to kill, without any attachments equipped. Of course though, with the auger, we do have the option to use the FMJ attachment, which completely nullifies that armor. Moving on to our ranges, as you can see here, our 3 shot kill range extends to about 45 meters. That is a slight approximation, it might be like 43 instead of 45, but it's right around that 45 meter mark. And then beyond that, it's going to be a 4 shot kill. I also want to point out that the first damage range drops off at roughly 19 meters. And that stat isn't really all that important, but there is one situation where it does come into play, and I'll be talking about that really soon. As for the long barrel attachment with the auger, it doubles all of your ranges, but I really feel like it's generally not necessary because the vast majority of your gunfights will be well within 45 meters. As for hardcore, like I said earlier, it will always be a one-shot kill unless you're shooting through some form of cover. So now it's time to move into headshots, and with the auger we get a standard headshot multiplier of 1.1, which takes our headshot damage profile to a 68, 60, 51, and what this means is without high caliber, headshots are generally useless. Beyond that 45 meter range, if you do manage to land 3 headshots in a row, then you can get yourself a 3 shot kill instead of a 4 shot kill. But even with a super accurate gun like this, beyond 45 meters, if you've got a target that's moving around a little bit, that's going to be usually pretty hard to do. So standard headshots, generally not worth it, but with high caliber, we get a great multiplier, especially considering the already high damage profile of the auger, we get a high caliber damage multiplier of 1.75. This takes our damage within the high caliber zones to 108, 96, 82, which is extremely high, very, very powerful. And with this, just landing one of your shots to a high caliber zone and the other shot can hit anywhere it wants in the body, it will always be reducing the number of shots to kill. So within 0 to 45 meters, one shot to the toe and one shot to the upper chest or head when you're using high caliber 2 will be a kill on the enemy. And this is where you get that amazing time to kill potential of 183 milliseconds, assuming you're hitting the fire rate cap. Now another thing that's important to keep in mind here, and this is where that 19 meter range comes in, Within 0 to 19 meters, if you come up against an armor user and you're using high caliber 2, as long as you're hitting that upper chest multiplier with one of your shots, it's like that player doesn't have armor at all. It completely overpowers armor, and it will still be a two-shot kill against a body armor user. So this is really important when it comes to your attachment choices, because if you're running high cal 1 and 2, which I would highly recommend with the auger, you don't even have to worry about using FMJ as far as countering armor users, as long as you're hitting that upper chest multiplier. This brings us to hip fire, and as you can see here, with all of the tactical rifles, just like with all of the assault rifles, they have the exact same hip fire spread. As for laser sight, which is one of the attachment options on the auger, this will reduce your hip fire spread by roughly 30%. For idle sway, as you can see here, the auger has practically no idle sway. It's got very, very little idle sway, and this means you're going to be very accurate on your first shot, even across the map. Now not only will your first shot be accurate, every shot after that will end up being accurate as well. As you can see with the recoil here, even if you're hitting the fire rate cap, your gun will bounce off center a little bit, but it will return almost perfectly to center every single time between each shot. Sometimes it will be just very slightly off, but you can see there it's still extremely accurate, and you should have no problems whatsoever with recoil. 
Moving on to our magazine capacity, we've got a 20 round magazine with 60 rounds of total starting ammo, and with this gun, we have no option to use extended mags or hybrid mags. Our reload add time, which is the amount of time it takes to reload without any unnecessary animations at the end, is relatively slow at 1.72 seconds. This is actually pretty much average for a tactical rifle, but when you compare it to a lot of the assault rifles or SMGs, it is a little bit on the slow side. But thankfully we can use the fast mags attachment and with this you reduce your reload time pretty significantly down to just over one second. Moving on to our handling and mobility stats, for aim down sight time it's faster than all of the assault rifles now at 275 milliseconds. And our sprint out time is average for the tactical rifles at 300 milliseconds which is a little bit on the slow side. With Gung Ho though, we can reduce this down to 175 milliseconds, which is a really good reduction, or if we break our sprint by aiming down sight when using Gung Ho, we can eliminate that sprint out time. Our movement speed with the Auger is 95%, which is standard for assault rifles as well as tactical rifles, and same thing goes with our aim down sight stray speed, this is also standard for assault rifles and tactical rifles at 40%. And that pretty much wraps it up for all of the important stats of the regular Auger. However, we also have an operator mod for the Auger that fundamentally changes how it fires. It takes it from a semi-auto to a two-round burst. Now our damage profile, our shots to kill, and our ranges all remain exactly the same with this operator mod equipped, however our rate of fire is obviously changing. Like I said this is going to be a 2 round burst, and the burst itself fires at 600 rounds per minute, and then it has a 150 millisecond delay between each one of your bursts. What this means is your standard time to kill, assuming you're not combining this operator mod with high caliber, is going to be 350 milliseconds in the 3 shot kill range and 450 milliseconds in the 4 shot kill range. So we do see a slight improvement to our time to kill, but not by a whole lot, it's really not that much different. But when we combine this with the high caliber attachment and we hit one of those shots in the high caliber zone, our time to kill potential, assuming the first two bullets within the burst hits, is one of the fastest you will ever find in this game, with the exception of one shot kill weapons, at 100 milliseconds. This kills people in the blink of an eye as long as you're accurate. Keep in mind though, it's not quite as forgiving as running it without the operator mod. So if you don't hit those two shots and one of them hitting the high caliber multiplier zone, then you do have to wait for that burst delay and therefore your time to kill will drop off fairly considerably after that miss. So when it comes to the operator mod on the auger, it's definitely high risk, high reward. If you're able to hit those first two shots consecutively and one of them hits a high caliber zone, you're rewarded with one of the best time to kill potentials you will ever see in this game. However, if you do miss this, your time to kill will drop off fairly sharply. So personally, while it is really fun to use this double tap from time to time just to change it up a little bit because it is a unique experience, I personally tend to lean away from the operator mod when I'm using the auger. So now that we have all of that out of the way, let's start getting into my favorite attachments to use on this as well as some recommended class setups. So first up, when it comes to optics, I'm not really a fan of the default sight on the auger. I feel like it zooms in just a little bit too much and it narrows my field of view a bit too much. So I really like running the auger with just a standard reflex sight. Of course, this area is definitely going to come down to personal preference. There's nothing inherently wrong with the default optic. I just have a strong preference for that reflex sight. As for the other attachments, in my opinion, assuming you have it ranked up, if you're not using high caliber 1 as well as high caliber 2 on the auger, you're doing something wrong. That's where the true potential really starts to come out with this gun. Without those attachments, it's relatively average, it's not that amazing of a weapon, but as soon as you get both of those attachments on, it becomes one of the best guns in the game. The only other attachments that I tend to consider with the auger are going to be sometimes the laser sight. It can be really fun when you get into those close quarter situations. You can dominate SMGs as long as you have those high caliber attachments combined with your laser sight. You can just run around hip firing everything to death. But another attachment that I would use a bit more often than a laser sight is the fast mag attachment. I really don't like that slow reload time of the auger and I really like getting myself right up in the action and I often don't have time for that full 1.7 second reload and therefore fast mags can be a major lifesaver if I've got room on my class for it. So this brings us to a couple amazing class setups I have for you guys with the auger. First up we have one with the operator mod equipped, this one's a ton of fun to use, I highly recommend giving it a try. With this we're using the reflex sight, both of the high caliber attachments as well as the double tap operator mod. For our gear, I tend to hang back a little bit when I'm using the double tap operator mod and therefore I'm going to be using a comsec device which allows me to get my streaks up faster. And for perks we're going to be using scavenger just because I tend to stay alive a little bit longer with this so I don't like running out of ammo. And also we have Dead Silence on this, which is just one of my crutch perks that I almost always use. 
So that's my personal favorite setup when using the operator mod, but like I said, high risk, high reward. So instead, my preferred setup with the Augur DMR, this is my favorite Augur class, is with the reflex sight, double high caliber, fast mags, a stim shot, once again, Scavenger as well as Dead Silence, but also with this one we're using Gung Ho because I tend to be a bit more aggressive with this particular class setup. This one right here is absolute gold. I highly encourage you guys to give this a go. In my opinion, at least in the game's current state, this is one of the best classes you could ever make. And with that, that's gonna wrap it up for today's gun guide. Personally, I love the Augur. It's so fun to use. Of course though, I feel like it really does rely on that high caliber one and two attachment, but once you've got those on there, this is one of my favorite guns in the game currently. Of course though, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of the Augur DMR? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Also, what do you guys think of the Operator mod? Do you think it's worth it for that time to kill potential? Or are you like me and you tend to stay away from it? If you guys have missed any of the previous episodes of Gun Guides, like I said at the beginning, I have now covered all of the assault rifles that launched with the game. I will leave a link to the playlist down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.